guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I do have a Dollar Tree and then I also found some stuff at Dollar General so we'll start with the Dollar Tree stuff first and then we'll switch right on over to Dollar General so if you guys are not subscribed consider subscribing and joining my family click that little notification bell give me a big thumbs up if you love these videos let's jump right into the Dollar Tree haul first the first things that I did come across, I really love when the Dollar Tree brings these little potted, what I mean, what do they actually have? Like, an, okay, animal planter. I think these are adorable. This is Jay, and I just thought this was so cute. I love fresh flowers and greenery in my house, and so... I just had to pick up another one of these. I think I've no I don't know if this one's new. They have like the the turtle and here's the other ones that they have, but I just figured I'd pick this one up. I love when they come out with with them and I always have to pick them up. And then I love these fertilizing spikes. So this is for um, flower planting. And I did go ahead and grab two of these. These work so good. They also have ones for vegetables in their little like um, section with all the flowers. But these I think really work. They have 30 spikes and we have fresh flowers that we plant in kind of like a planter by the window. And so it's kind of getting that time where I'm seeing flowers out like at Lowe's and Walmart and stuff. And so I was like, oh yes. So I grabbed two of these, but I really think they do work quite well so it's nice to know that the Dollar Tree has those in okay so walking in their food aisle I don't really necessarily go into their food aisle a lot but these looked so good so they're chocolate and biscuits white um, cookie white chocolate has anybody tried these they look so delicious they are let's see so you get one pack for 160 calories and uh oh my gosh yeah so i just thought i grabbed two of those that was kind of a nice find it's nice when the dollar tree does get in really name brand stuff especially food stuff so next up for the crafters out there they have this sign that says hello if you didn't like hello they had like smile and family crafter square really does have some amazing i think craft stuff out but I found the hello it's really nice like it's really solid um, there's so many things that you can do with this but I just love the hello I thought this would be kind of fun to do something on like the front porch so I did grab that and if you guys watched my my favorite beauty products from the Dollar Tree I was sharing the sassy and chic shadow switching sponge this is my favorite well they have them back so every dollar tree that i've been into lately now has these back and i stock up on these because i love these these are so good every time like you want to wash your brush or get all the powder off this is amazing so highly recommend that and just wanted to give you guys a heads up that it's back at all my dollar tree so hopefully you guys will be able to find it because i really do think it it works and i use it every day and my brushes stay clean the powder falls out it catches in this pan so it's all easy to clean up and stuff but highly recommend them the sassy and chic and yeah they were back so i was like oh my gosh they brought them back because you know how sometimes dollar tree does that where you'll find something for a long period of time and then they stop selling it and then out of the blue they bring it back that's kind of what happened with that I did come across a few socks I only picked two because this kind of reminds me of the summer so I found a little crab I love these like no show like shoe liners especially if you wear like your low shoes like low cut shoes I have like these cute like white low cut shoes and I cannot wait to wear them in the summer I would never wear them now because it always rains but I thought these were so cute so I got the crab and then I also picked up <laughs> look how cute this frog is very vibrant and kind of fun but if you didn't like these two they also had other ones but these just I've never had a problem with these and I love them you guys know we are big sock lovers in the house 
Okay, so I I go thrifting a lot and I was out of all my hand sanitizer in my purse and in my car. So these are the extra care. These are hand sanitizer wipes, but they're in little individual packets. I thought this would be so good to do. I mean, you can do so many things with these. You can do blessing bags with these. You can put them in your glove department and your handbag and your diaper bag. I thought that was kind of awesome that they had those. So I did pick up those for when we go thrifting. And then I liked this one too. This is the hand sanitizer on the go. This is purse size or pocket size. It's the same brand, extra care, but it just looks like this. So I thought, heck yeah, I would put that in my car, or probably have this in my purse and then use it whenever I need it. Okay, the next things I thought were kind of awesome is look at this cute pin you guys know it's been a while since i've hauled a cute pin and i just couldn't get over this one so it's a unicorn and then it's all fluffy right here and then it's one of those pins like i always say i kind of hate that they do this because if you lose the cap then you can't really put it at, you know you got to be careful where you put it because you don't want it you know to mark up everything but i thought this would be super cute in an easter basket so I grabbed that and then also going kind of along with the Easter basket, I found these like little, um, what are we calling these? Is there like snack dispenser? But I picked up the bunny. I thought this was so cute. And what I thought doing is maybe it's really small. So you can't put like big like gum in there or anything, but I think like little jelly beans would be perfect in here. So you fill it up with jelly beans and then kind of present it in an Easter basket. I think that would be adorable. So I grabbed that for one of my kiddos Easter baskets. And then I did come across some more toys. So this is the Trolls. I've never seen this one before. And this is for ages, let's see, three, right? Three and up, where'd the thing go? I thought I just saw it. Oh, ages four and up. And this is what they look like. So this would be another little cute Easter basket filler. So that's what it looks like. It's hanging in within the toys. And then this is what it looks like. So you get like a little figure. I think this is so cute. And they go on like the little trees. There's like a big, um, I guess a house for them. And then these sit on the tree. So that's kind of nice that the Dollar Tree got them in. Here's another thing of what they look like. So I just went ahead and grabbed two because I thought, heck yeah, that would be perfect for Easter baskets. You can really make a nice Easter basket at the Dollar Tree. And then the last thing that I got at the Dollar Tree and then we'll switch right on over to Dollar General because I found so much cute stuff at Dollar General. Very inexpensive too, which is great. They brought these little guys back, the little squishy guys. So these, they reveal three, reveal three secret charms inside them. I donated these last year and I think the year before and these are always a huge hit with the kids. And so I got, can you guys see, it's like a little, I think we're like a little strawberry with like some whipped cream on top, but that's super nice that they got these back in because these are well more, you know, than just a dollar. So that, that's that. And let's switch on over to Dollar General. So Dollar General really has a lot of awesome stuff. I really love Dollar General, honestly. I've really grown to love it. So. They have quite a bit of Easter stuff in and their prices are really, really cheap, I think. So this is one of their Easter plates. This is a dollar and you get eight plates, but I love this beautiful bunny. I think this is so classy and so pretty. And I mean, for a dollar, it's like the same price as the Dollar Tree. And honestly, I think the Dollar General plates are really, I think they're better then as far as their Easter plates, I think Dollar General won with this one because it's just, it's so beautiful and so classy. So I grabbed that and then to go along with it, they have the napkins also for $1 and there's six, you get 16 napkins for $1. It says happy Easter right there. 
Isn't that just so pretty? Oh, it's just so pretty. And then I decided to grab the smaller plates. These also are a dollar. It says Happy Easter with the two little bunnies. You get eight in here. And then they also have the smaller little napkins. They are a dollar as well, and you get 16 in there. So I thought I would do something really cute, maybe like a breakfast in the morning, Easter, like just go out all out and decorate the table, and then maybe like for lunch or dinner do like another, you know, use the smaller plates for breakfast, bigger plates for like lunch or dinner. And then, uh-oh, we lost an earring. Okay, I put her right back where she belongs. Oh my gosh, this earring does not want to stay in my ear. Okay, so next thing, I thought this was so pretty. This is the utensil like wrappers. You don't get the utensils, but just little wrappers and there are eight in there. And look how pretty that is. I just think these are so cute. So I thought that would be kind of pretty to put like the little, you know, utensils and then just make a cute little... Easter morning, you know, kind of breakfast or what have you. So I grabbed those. And then they always have the cutest face masks every holiday. And so, of course, they had Easter face masks for adults and kids. But the only one that I just picked up is this one, a little bunny. Isn't this so cute? So their face masks are $2. They are super nice. My daughter really loves them. She's seven. And um, I just, she loves, I found a, like a little black kitty at Halloween and that's that's her favorite one she loves that one but I thought she would probably like the cute little bunny like it is super super cute and they're nice and stretchy and um really really comfortable so that's what that one looks like but like I said they had so many so many masks so beautiful they had pastel ones and just bunny ones oh I really do love the Dollar General face mask so kind of going along with my little Easter theme we I want to do like a Easter hunt at nighttime and so they have these light up bracelets and you can get these all over for a dollar but this one is a unicorn and I thought she was super pretty and they just can you guys see it lights up so I thought this would be something fun maybe to put in her Easter basket or put somewhere but I think a glow-in-the-dark Easter hunt this year would be so much fun for the kiddos so along with like going in their Easter baskets do you guys remember the balloons that you like the punch balloons those were my favorite my kids still love those but this time they have the light up punch punching balloon and it changes color so I did go ahead and pick this up this was like a dollar 50 or something like that so but I just thought that was just the coolest thing I love my kids love the little punching balloon so I grabbed that and this was in within the party section and then I found this I thought this would be another little cute Easter basket filler this is a unicorn head and it's a light up balloon these are so great you can also find like the light up balloons just nothing fancy like this but the regular light up balloons at the Dollar Tree as well, but I just thought this was so stinking cute. I love it, look at that, oh my gosh, how fun is that? So, and I think this was like $2.50 or something like that. So they have a lot of little fun things to pick from. And the next thing I found, I thought this was so stinking cute, a chick rules, rules this roost and it's just kind of like a little steak this was a dollar and they had other ones too as well but oh my gosh so i thought this was super cute and then they have so much cute farmhouse stuff and they are still stocking so i'm definitely gonna have to go back but i fell in love with this picture i think this is so beautiful i paid five dollars for it which i think is such an excellent price I mean it's gorgeous so what I was kind of thinking and this would be like kind of a cool Mother's Day gift is if you get her like some roses and fill it and then maybe like stick this in here with it with all the roses and stuff look how cute that would be presented for like um, like Mother's Day or I mean honestly anything get well um, I just think it would just look so cute together so I think that's what I'm gonna do but I just they really have some amazing stuff, you guys. So 
I have been kind of wandering in there here or there and uh, I'm just kind of I'm really impressed with them so you guys that's it for my video today thank you so much for taking out the time and watching my videos thank you I just appreciate you guys so much I know it's super busy and uh, I appreciate your time here with me today and I will see you guys next time bye